Um, you know, that's a good question. I'll say this. Because um, I've also lived, I lived in Boston. I lived in Houston. I lived in San Francisco. And I'm living in Miami. So, and, and in all those places, I've had different experiences about how my body navigates in this space. Um, in all of them, there is a level of, the conversation of race is important, and in all of them, perhaps maybe in San Francisco, um, I didn't have to think a lot about, um, how, to, how to explain this, like, like I feel like, it, I feel like in Miami and in Houston, race is always a topic of conversation. Maybe in San Francisco it wasn't as much, but I still experience, you know, like what it means to have like a segre you know, segregation and all that stuff. I, I think that, I mean, I, I guess your question for me is touching on, on multiple levels. Because for me, I, I consider myself a triple minority, like I'm a woman, I'm black and I'm Latino, and that in itself is something that within the American binary of black and white, it doesn't fit. It doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't have like a, where do you put a person like me within that, that, um, that spectrum? And I say that because, you know, when I lived in Houston, an African American told me, when I told him that I was from Puerto Rico, he said, um, uh, really, I didn't thought there were any black people in Puerto Rico. I thought that it was all like J-Lo and Ricky Martin. And I said, well, don't you know the history of the slave trade and how the Caribbean was like the market for, for, um, for you know, black bodies? Like, so, 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 I don't know. I mean, I think that in Miami, if I was gonna talk specifically about Miami here, I do feel like um, I do feel like I see more people like me. I see more Black Latinos, and that I that I like. Um, like I'm, but it's been interesting when I get on a lift to I always play this game, or sometimes not always, in which I let the people speak to me first to see if they'll speak to me in English and Spanish. And a lot of the times, the Latin people spoke to me, speak to me in English, thinking that I am African American, or I'm just purely African American. So, so it's all complicated. This American culture, you know, it's, it's built on this system and is everywhere. 